Hi everyone, this is Jennifer of Silhouette Sisters, and I'm here today to walk you through how to import an SVG file from my vinyl designer into your Silhouette Studio Designer Edition software. Once you start getting comfortable with your Silhouette Studio software, the next step many take is to buy SVG files online. And the question I hear often is, what exactly is an SVG file? SVG stands for Scalable Vector Graphics, and those files can be opened in the Silhouette software, then modified for your particular project. But in order to prepare SVG files for cutting with your Silhouette machine, you will need to upgrade to the Silhouette Studio Designer Edition. The Silhouette Studio Designer Edition contains all the same functionality as Silhouette Studio, plus many other fabulous designer features. For today's tutorial, we're going to focus on the ability to open, manipulate, and cut SVG files. So you've upgraded your software and you're ready to tackle an SVG file. Head on over to My Vinyl Designer and browse all the wonderful files that they have available. I'm thinking of making a 12 by 12 tile, so I selected this customized name plate. I'm going to go ahead and add that to my cart. My Vinyl Designer makes all of their files available in four different formats, so I'm going to quickly walk you through the checkout process. After entering your payment information, you'll come to the Confirm and Purchase page. Here is where you're going to select SVG for your download type, then continue. The order receipt page will contain the link to download your file in SVG format. The My Vinyl Designer takes all of your purchases and compresses them into a single zipped folder for easier downloading. And once you click the download button, the folder will be saved to the downloads folder on your computer. When you click the link to download, a window will pop up confirming that you're going to download something from My Vinyl Designer. Then a window will pop open from your computer, giving you an opportunity to rename the file. I've gone ahead and renamed mine custom nameplate. Then your downloads folder will pop up showing the zip file that you've just downloaded. At this point, you should be able to find the zipped file on your desktop. You're going to go ahead and click that or unzip it until you come to your SVG document that you just purchased. You're going to take this file and drag it to your desktop. Once it's on your desktop, you'll have the opportunity to rename it if you wish. Okay, so you've purchased an SVG file. Now what? We have a blank canvas here. We want to go ahead and add our SVG file. I'm going to choose the open function. It's going to pop up your desktop. And I renamed mine forever and always. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that. And OK. And there it popped up. This is the one I just purchased from my vinyl designer. I'm going to go ahead and enlarge that. And let me show you how you can play around with this. So as I mentioned, I'm going to make a 12 by 12 tile. So that looks about good right there. And I want to add some text down here. So I'm going to go ahead and select my text tool. And I think I'll type, I love vinyl. And when I'm working, I always like to have my stuff colored just so I can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to go ahead and fill it with some brown. And then I'm going to change my line color to brown. Enlarge it. So there we go. And then I think I'm going to select it all and just move it up with my up arrow a little bit. There we go. So it's important to remember when you import an SVG file, you need to check the cut line settings. If you go ahead and click this little scissor up here, it opens your cut style window. And as you can see, the forever and always with the rose is not highlighted in red. But the I love vinyl is because we created that with the Silhouette Studio software. We need the software to recognize all these cut lines. So when you send it to your Silhouette machine, everything will cut. So I'm going to go ahead and select all of this. And in the cut style menu, I'm going to select cut. And I'm telling it to find all the edges that it can cut and it's, it's selected correctly. Forever and always with the rose, I love vinyl, everything seems to be highlighted. So when you send it to your silhouette machine, everything will cut. But remember, I also said that you can modify things too. So let's say we get the forever and always and you just wanna change it up a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and ungroup this. I like to use Control U to ungroup, or you can also go to Object and Group or Ungroup. 
So I'm going to take the and I've ungrouped it, so now I'll have an I have the opportunity to play around with it. And in case I want to move this stuff around, I just want to make sure that the always is grouped together, control G, and the forever is together, control G, and I'm just going to do the and, control G. Say you want to do something different with the rows. Say you want to move it over here and I want to make it more scroll-like. Go ahead and select it and go up to my object, transform, mirror options, and I want to mirror it to the right. There. I'm going to group those two roses together and I'm going to use my align function up here to get it in the center of the page. I'll just go ahead, adjust that around. This still looks a little plain though for a 12 by 12 tile. So I've also purchased a decorative border. Okay, so I'm going to go to my open window. I'm going to look for the decorative border I, I purchased. I call it scroll border. When, this, when in the Silhouette Studio software opens this up, it does put it on a new page. So all I do is select it. I'm going to copy it. Didn't need to do that. I duplicated it. I'm going to do Control C. And then I'm going to go back to my other page. And once I get back to the other page I'm working on, I'm going to Control V to paste it. And there we go. I want to go ahead, select it, and ungroup it. Control U. Or again, you can go to Object and use Group or Ungroup from here. And this goes ahead and separates it so I can use each piece individually. Put one down there, one up there. Say I want this the entire length, I can go ahead and use the scale window. And let's just say I want to go all the way. I want to go all the way 12. I'm just going to hit the lock aspect ratio. This way everything adjusts correctly. Ooh, that came a little big. And then do the same thing up here. Lock my aspect ratio, make it go all the way, and then I'm just going to shrink it down a little bit. Now remember, we just took this SVG file in, so let's check our cut line settings. I'm going to select it all and just move it down a little bit. Again, go up to the scissors, open the cut style window, and everything that we selected before is going to cut, but the new scroll that we took in is not. So we want to just select everything. I'm going to hit that cut edge, and there we have our red lines. So we are all set for cutting. If you want to um, just cut black or brown or whatever, you can always go to your cut style window again and say you just want to cut these two first. So you want to select everything in the middle. and say no cut, and then I can go ahead and cut these in black, then hide like this later, just cut that in brown, maybe do those in red. If you have any opportunity to go ahead and separate it, modify it, and work with it. So I hope this has helped you. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at jennifer at silhouettesisters.com, and thank you for watching.